There are many projects that I absolutely love. I think being from London, you're surrounded by incredible stuff. Um, so I like old train stations. I really, really do. And one of my favorite is the St Pancras station. It's good to see how the regeneration was done and all the stuff that they've done since. It's just a beautiful area. It really is. It's inspiring. I'm a civil engineer, but I am also an art enthusiast, love architecture, fashion and travel. The fact that we do stuff that's actually tangible makes a difference. Um, the work that we do genuinely improves society, the quality of life, and it contributes to people just feeling much better about how their day is going. Um, I love it. I'm really, really passionate about it. that everybody is working really, really hard to get more women into it. I didn't know about it until I got in and realized that we had, I think, 13% female representative. And there's a lot of work and initiatives and outreach programs that the ICE uh, with their STEM ambassadors do. So there is real work and I appreciate that. That it's hard. It's not hard. Um, you don't work on your own at all. It's a team profession. There's so many people that support you. All your work is a, you know, quality assured by somebody else. So you're never going to do it on your own at all. So don't be deterred, definitely. I think it's helped me find my voice um, because you're working in a profession that has Lots of people from different backgrounds, you're working with uh, multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary teams, architects, electro engineers, mechanical engineers, and so you have to have the confidence to, to speak up and get your voice heard, um, but not in a bullshy way, but you learn to develop your communication skills because what you do and how it's going to be interpreted by the people that are going to build it on site, or the client, the report that you produce for them, you become a better communicator and an all-round integrator.